all right today I'll talk about reduction and this is important for shared memory parallel algorithm so shared memory parallel algorithm so let's take a problem right uh, the problem mm, let's consider adding n numbers right so you have n numbers and you want to produce a sum right if you do it sequentially using one processor uh, you get order n time complexity right so this would be the time complexity to get sum of n numbers now let's now consider how we solve this problem in parallel so let me create let's say n equals to 10 and then let's say you have two processors so p equals to 2 so how do you do this problem uh, using two processors right so one straightforward way to do this would be uh, to divide uh, 10 numbers into two groups uh, each group five uh, each group has you know five numbers so processor zero adds uh, you know first five numbers first five numbers and process of p1 uh, you know last five numbers adds last five numbers and then processor zero can add these two values to get the final sum right now if we analyze the time complexity we can say that uh, there were n numbers and there were p processors so time complexity to do this process uh, using two processor is order n over p and the reason is n things could be divided uh, approximately equally among p processors and then uh, you know then you could do some more steps and get the final sum so this is not complete this is a part of the you know time complexity now if you look at this uh, then it means that if you have n equals to p right then this becomes n by n and that is order one right now we cannot add a bunch of numbers in order one time okay so we have to improve this so uh, to complete this addition uh, let's talk about reduction so let me describe what reduction is reduction basically means uh, use a tree like algorithm to uh, do summation or some other operation right so let's talk talk about reduction using summation right so if you have a bunch of numbers one two three four five okay eight numbers then the way to reduce them add them uh, would be like this so you add two plus one is three three plus four is seven six plus five is eleven eight seven is fifteen right so you add added two numbers pairwise now repeat the process so it's seven plus three is ten this is 26 and then repeat the same process add pairwise so you get six and then 36 so 36 is the sum and uh, we say that we reduced it now i showed you this uh this tournament kind of a structure here uh, because uh, this is very parallelizable so if you have let, let's say four processors then what you, can, what you can do is let p0 do this addition let p1 do addition of three and four uh, let p2 produce 11 and let p3 produce 15 right and after that you can select p0 and p0 produces this answer 10 and then p1 produces this answer 26 right 
and P2 and P3 remain idle in this phase, right? So they are idle because there's not enough work uh, to be done. And finally, you know, you can assign P0 and P0 adds 10 and 26 to produce 36, right? So this would be a reduction, a parallel reduction. So how, how, so this is a tree, right? Now, what's the depth of the tree? What's the height of the tree, right? Now, you can count the number of levels. So, one, two, three. You see, you know, it's three, right? So, one, and then two, two, and then three. So, depth is, is three. Now, this, this you can express as a log of P. So, height or depth is log of P. Okay, so you can put an order notation and say order log of p. So one thing that uh, should be clear, clarified here is that uh, if we, if we, if we, if we have to answer how much time does it take, right? So you can say that it takes uh, one step to uh, for p zero, p one, p two, and p three to produce three seven. 11 and 15 right it takes one step because each processor is working in parallel uh, similarly if you go to this second so this is let's say second phase again it takes one step because p0 and p1 are working in parallel and finally if you look at the third phase again it takes one step to produce 36 so we say in three steps you can sum them uh, so, so this introduced the log p term, right? So you can combine now equation one and equation two to give you the final answer to do summation. And that is the time complexity to add n numbers using p processors is order of n over p plus log p, okay? So n over p is required because um, and you you can you can see why n over p is required because uh, the actual number n number uh, numbers are, can be way greater than p so we cannot actually start the start the reduction uh, in the first in the beginning right so n over p time uh, we account for this much time because uh, you know sequentially a processor has to go through n over p and keep adding them now, when all the processors are done, uh, then you will have, uh, you know, P chunks. And now you could do the reduction, right? So what, what I showed. So here I showed, you know, how to do reduction. So uh, you, you could use this uh, now. So this, this time complexity uh, is very important to remember. Many other problems also follow this idea. Okay, good. Now, based on this, uh, now you have to solve a problem. So let's say if you have to uh, do dot product of two vectors, right? So I'm creating a problem now, dot product of two vectors, and I'll define them. And you have to see how to parallelize this problem and then how fast uh, you know, what's the time complexity? So let's say you have vector A, uh, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you have uh, vector B. Two, two, one, one. And let's say we want to do B dot A. And this is defined as, you know, 2 multiplied by 1 plus then two multiplied by two. And so you basically do, you know, pairwise multiplication and then keep adding it. Finally, one dot four. So two plus four plus three plus four, and that is six, nine, 13, right? So how fast can you, uh, you know, solve this problem? So think about it. 
you can pause this uh, video and think about it all right let's say you have uh, some thoughts already on how to solve this problem so i'll just um, you know say that this problem is uh, similar to adding numbers uh, and i say that because you know you see the addition is there so that part would be there and multiplication that we do is also you know you can divide the um, vector a and vector b into p parts right so if if the size of the vector is n then n over p multiplications will be there, there and then you have to do the additions right and there the reduction tree could be used so this problem is also you know, can be solved using n over p plus log p time complexity okay so i'll stop here